everybody, it's uh, Private Earth Class Beast, and obviously. Um, I want to make this video to go ahead and kind of, I mean, I, I know this is random as hell, but I want to take, I want to uh, do this video to talk about, uh, you know, uniforms in the Marine Corps, because we have quite a few. They're, they're fairly similar. Um, matter of fact, you know, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and do what I was going to say. Alright, so I'm going to start off, <clears throat> start off by talking about the, the dress uniforms, the dress blue uniforms, which I'm wearing right now. Um, obviously, when you think of a dress blue uniform, for people that don't really know anything about the military or they're just starting to learn, you know, you think of the dress blue as, you know, the big, the black coat with the red piping on it, or the scarlet piping, rather, with the, you know, the, the neck cuff and, you know, all of that. But there's actually five, no, excuse me, there's four different uh, variations for the uh, dress blues. Um, well, there's four common, okay, that you're going to see, you know, day to day. So, first of all, we have the dress blue alphas, which are only for ceremonial events such as the Marine Corps ball, weddings, uh, my recruiter wore his to my graduation when I graduated high school last year, and, you know, formal events, like, you know, just things like that, and with that, you will be wearing your blue pants, um, you, you, honestly, you can wear any kind of shirt you want underneath, I would recommend wearing, like, a white t-shirt, or just a thin t-shirt, because those things get very, very hot, like, honestly, they are very hot, um, and that way, if you do need to take it off, you're not wearing some kind of freaking, you know, eccentric, whatever kind of shirt, you know. But I've also seen where some Marines will wear them, and they'll have like a superhero shirt underneath, like just kind of pull it apart. You know, it's kind of a, like a group thing. Um, next one is your dress blue. Okay, let me go back and say this. Uh, you are not allowed to wear your dress blue alphas um, in, you know, day-to-day -day, day -day work, because... As I said, they are only for um, ceremonial events. Um, with that, you you, uh, you wear your medals on the left side, which is like, this is not a medal, okay? This right here is called a ribbon, okay? Your medals is the whole thing with the actual medallion on the bottom of it that you wear. And you'll wear the medals on the left side, and the, those medals would be like this, this uh, merits a, a medal, um, the National Defense Service Medal. This, like I said, this is a ribbon, and you would wear those on the left side, and they'd be hanging down. And every medal that, or every ribbon that doesn't have a medal variant, it goes on your right side. So, like a Presidential Unit Citation. Um, honestly, that's the only one I can think of right now. Uh, combat action ribbon, drill instructor ribbon, uh, recruiter, things like of that nature, um, and of course your white cover. Uh, moving on from that, we have the dress blue bravos, which is essentially the same. It's the exact same thing, except you will wear only ribbons on the left side. It's coat and everything, uh, just. Metal, metals come off and ribbons all of your ribbons come to this side so all those metals over here that uh, obviously they have a ribbon that goes with it you put them all over here and the, obviously you'll, you, know, you know how it goes next is your dress blue charlies which is uh, you take the coat off uh, you're not wearing the coat anyways um, you wear ribbons Basically, this it's a long sleeve version of this shirt with the top button buttoned, and you're wearing a tie with a tie clasp. All right, now I will say, in my opinion, I cannot stand wearing the Charlies. I don't like that long sleeve shirt because maybe it's just me, but buttoning that very top button up here is a chore. Okay. Other than that, I have no problem with it, but that top button gets me every time. It takes me about five minutes to put that freaking thing on. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Um, and our last dress blue uh, dress blue uniform is the dress blue deltas, which is what I'm wearing right now. It's your blue pants, the short
short sleeve shirt, you see, um, and your ribbons on the left side here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'm gonna go ahead and say that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I actually need to back up another, another bit, because with your dress blue Bravos, you will actually wear your marksmanship badges as well. So if you only have the rifle qualification, that will be centered on your pocket right above the gold button. Um, like, see how this shirt is with the, with the button? There's the top of the pocket here. And the, uh, the bottom part of your, like, there's the little, the little, um, little rectangular piece that on it says rifle expert. The very bottom part of that little rectangle is going to go an eighth of an inch right above this little line here on your pocket, okay? And then the bottom part of your ribbons will go an eighth of an inch above that. Now remember, that's only on your dress blue Bravos, because obviously you're not gonna wear the marksmanship badges while you're wearing medals, okay? And don't, don't mistake that you'd wear the marksmanship badges below the ribbons on, on this side with your alphas, because no, you don't do that, <laughs> okay? Um, now back to what I was saying, that's the, that's the last part of the, uh, that would be all the dress blue uniforms that I've explained. Next we're going to move on to our service uniform, which is, you know, is pretty close to the dress uniform. But our first uh, service uniform we have is the service alphas. Okay, that's what you'll be wearing to check into your units. You will report in into in that um, it's because that that's kind of like your your interview like if you roll to a job that's what you would wear to an interview okay Cause that's that's pretty much what it is you're reporting to your new job all right and what that is it's a pair of green slacks or pants rather with the web belt that we all wear um, the long sleeve shirt Honestly, you don't have to wear the tie clasp, but I always do because in case, like, for some reason they have you take it off, you have it on and, you know, just whatever. But, and then with that is going to be the green coat that has the EGAs here on the lapel and two on the, the epaulets, whatever they're called, I don't really know, the shoulder boards. And basically the same thing as your dress blue bravos it's going to have your marksmanship badges or badge whatever you have an eighth of an inch above your little pocket thing the ribbons an eighth of an inch above that all right that is your and there's going to be a green waist belt that goes obviously around like your stomach with a gold buckle that you're going to do that should be it uh next we have our service bravos is the exact same thing as the dress Charlie's except the green pants and uh, with your service uh, uniforms let me back up even further with your dress uniforms you will always wear this white cover every time there's no other cover you wear with your with your with your dress blues except this white cover okay and with your service uniforms you have two separate covers you have a green uh, this is called a barracks cover okay you have a green barracks cover that's just like this, except obviously this is green, and the EGA here is black, and the two screw-in buttons here are black as well. That's called subdued. Um, or also we have the uh, the garrison cover, which is the little the pointy one, the triangle one that goes from like here to here. Also known as the piss cutter, which has the the black EGA here on the left side, the little bit small one that's that um, you honestly you will really never wear your garrison uh, excuse me your barracks cover the green one unless directed by your command which I've not heard too much of that so you're pretty much always gonna be wearing the garrison cover um, moving right along next is service Charlie's also mainly known as Chuck's 
that's what you'll wear for most of your inspections and your barracks and you know, other things like that when you report in for inspections. Same exact thing as this, just with green pants and green cover. Alright, moving along, we have um, we have our freaking Marpat utility uh, freaking uniform, which is camis, obviously. Um, there's only two variants of that, which is the woodland, which is, you know, the green with brown and black and all that. And you're going to wear, it's going to be that with the McMap belt, or when you're in boot camp for the first while, you'll have your web belt. And then boots, whatever kind you want to wear, the brown boots, uh, green garrison cover, uh, yeah, that's all of that. And then we have our deserts, which is, you know, the tan ones, okay? So, yeah, that's, that's our, uh, freaking, our camis. Um, next, we, next I'm going to talk about, we kind of have some special uniforms, like the, uh, the evening wear, the evening dress wear. Which only staff NCOs and officers are, are allowed to wear. And what that is, is uh, it's a dress blue variant, obviously. So it's, it's this like, it's a coat that has, you know, huge freaking rank on the shoulder, uh, the, the, uh, the arm here. And, and then it's like a coat that comes out and down. It's like, it's like an overcoat, not an overcoat, but like a, a tuxedo coat almost. And it has a crimson cummerbund. And you will wear actually mini medals here. Wait, yeah, on the left side, on, on the left side, the mini medals. So there's uh, that one. Um, you've also got. Actually, no, I believe that may be it. The only special one. Okay. Um, let me say this. Uh, officers is kind of different when it comes to their dress blues. Because I know officers, they have, um, I believe they're Bravos, it's, it's the exact same thing, except they have a, a black leather belt, I believe. I'm not really sure, I've not really looked into officers wear that much. They get the black leather belt, and then with their alphas, they have the black belt around the waist, and then a, a, a skinnier one that goes from their left hip over their right shoulder and back around. And I, honestly, I think that looks really cool, but I don't know much about officers, so I'm not going to go into that. Um... And staff NCOs and above, they can also, or if you're in the band or the silent drill platoon, you can. They also have a white pair of pants that you can wear, which honestly look really sick. Obviously, and you know everybody, everybody knows about that one. So I believe I have covered all of the uniforms that we have. So. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because I'm finally almost home after a long day of uh, working hard, you know. So, uh, I'll catch you guys in my next video. So, leave comments, likes, leave some suggestions on some things you might want to see in another video because, I'm, you know, I'm home for another, what, freaking 15 days or something. So, so go ahead and leave me some suggestions. I'll be glad to answer any questions you guys might have and, you know, anything. So, Catch you guys next time.